Hello, Jonathan here, friends of the interwebs, and I'm awake. Um, basically, I'm going to my old roommate's place to pick up some mail and to visit. And for some reason, there's some garbage cans downstairs in the metro, which I find stupid and weird. There's some up here. But, like, would it kill them to put them down there? Apparently so. Like, I get that they don't want garbage on the platform itself, but that's not the platform itself. There's a lot of space leading up to it. Okay, I am approaching my old apartment. Am I gonna get the fields? Probably. This is new. They have a new field over here, and they seem to have a game going on. Maybe that's not new, but I've never been there during a game, so I don't know if it's football or what. I should probably check it out. It seems to be football. Okay. I have just left. Um, basically, I was at my old apartment. I um, talked to my old roommate, and I visited my old landlords, and they're super cool. We had tea, and uh, these like pancake things that they made, and orange marmalade, and it was really good. Anyway, um, where am I going with this? Basically now, I, I'm not really that hungry, but I'm probably gonna stop by the cafe around here just because. Oh, oh my God, I had a really stupid, forgot my glasses on my face moment, even though I don't wear glasses. I was like, where's my phone? I can't find my phone while I'm vlogging. That meant, I, was, I freaked out for a second because I reached in my pocket and it wasn't there. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go to the cafe, have a little bit of stuff to eat. Then I'm gonna to go to, there's a dentist around here that owes me money. So I'm gonna go and get my money. Okay, this is the best tip jar ever. Look, watch this. This is amazing. This would also work as a great piggy bank because it would make you really incentivized to save money. <laughs> so for some unknown reason, Post Canada doesn't have the package that's supposed to be there, even though they left a thing on my mailbox saying that it's going to be there. Like, why would you handwrite this message to me saying that it's going to be there? If it's not, I don't understand. But anyway, so once again, they don't have it. And they've lost my hard drive. So this is gonna be a fun week. So let me recap. In the past two days, I have waited twice at the post office for like 20 minutes to find out my package isn't there. The first day I find out it's probably there, but we haven't processed the boxes that came in today. Come back in three hours, which doesn't really make sense when the paper literally says you can come there starting at this specific time. If when I get there at that specific time, I can't pick up my stuff because they haven't processed it yet. That's not my fault. That is a fault of whoever's in charge of supplying staff. And if it's because their budget isn't big enough for them to have more staff, well, that's not my problem. That's the government's problem for not giving enough money to Post Canada. And then today I find out, oh, they haven't received it, which doesn't even make sense. I have a tendency to believe that all of that stuff that they got last night, they just didn't do anything to it. It's probably there. Or they lost my thing in the mail, which is also equally possible. But um, one thing's for sure, they're definitely understaffed. Because if they can't process all of the shipments that are coming in, then clearly there's a problem. If there's lineups every time for 20 minutes because one person is ordering some crazy stupid thing, then there's a problem. There should definitely be two people at the post office working because, hey, if one person is deciding they want to ship half the contents of their kitchen somewhere else and it's taking like a really crazy long time, why should I have to wait for that when it should take 30 seconds to pick up my package? Literally, you show the paper, be like, oh, hey, that's you, show a piece of ID, and then they give it to you, the box, and it's in the back. It's really easy for them to find it. it takes no time. The worst thing is, is that I was home while this was delivered. They just 
made no effort whatsoever to contact me so I could go down literally one flight of stairs and be like, hey, okay, this is mine. I'll sign for this. <sighs> also, check me out. Yeah, this is a thing. This is real. I'm not sure why it's green underneath, but I, this is awesome. I have never had a snapback before, except this just eyeball it one, and I think this is the coolest thing ever, except it's hard to vlog with it. This is also a look that works that I actually prefer over the first one. I've never been a, like, cap slash snapback kind of guy, but because this is, like, my brand and it's, like, a just eyeball it snapback, I'm like, this is cool, I dig this. To be clear, I didn't get this at the post office just now, I got them at uh, my old roommate's place because it was accidentally delivered there. Anyway, Stefan, your stuff is here. Gabe has arrived. Hello. And we were talking about board games and he doesn't like Scrabble. It's not that I don't like it, it's just like, we're going to a board game night and he said, oh, they have Scrabble. Like, that's a good choice of games to play at a board I game Scrabble night. Scrabble so much. What's so exciting about Scrabbles? Nothing! <laughs> oh, look, I can spell a word. <laughs> oh, love... look, I'm gonna spell a word out of your word. Yay! I... I win five points! Stop making fun of Scrabble. No, I won't. Scrabble I'd rather play game. Monopoly instead of Scrabble. And I know Monopoly ruins friendships and parties and any kind of relationship to be honest <laughs> but that's that that's unless you play as a lot. team even if you play you can play monopoly as a team not really but sort of he's crazy scrabble's a great game no i love it so much hey everyone um since right now jonathan is in the shower i'm using the time to um say something in secret because when you'll be watching this video tomorrow, um, t tomorrow will be our first month anniversary since we've st since we've started dating, and I wanted to do a surprise for when he'll edit this video later on today, um, by saying something cute concerning our relationship, and saying a special message for Jonathan that he'll see when he'll edit the video. I'm repeating myself. Sorry. <laughs> Grammar is not my forte in English. Anyway, so Jonathan, we've been together for a month, and um, how can I say this? This has been a really perfect month for me. You've made me so happy, even though you made me late to some classes because you can't. You make me late by keeping me up like holding me and hugging me and even if even if I'm saying Jonathan I'm going to be late for class let me go you don't so I get late for class and I think that's really cute I think you're really cute and really perfect for me I don't think I've ever felt that with anyone before you like the fact that I'm so confident and happy in a relationship so early that's never happened i think and if it has well this time is special because it's even better i guess um so yeah thank you for keeping up with me and thank you interwebs for keeping up with me too because well yeah i'm not the one that runs this channel i'm not the main character i'm just like sidekick and thank you for keeping up with me too and for accepting the fact that i'm in a relationship with jonathan and saying we're cute because yes we are and i really really like it so yeah happy one month anniversary jonathan yep okay we have Anna, just hola. met up Anna told me if i could say hi in the video in the vlog that, that's it i said it hi Anna. <laughs> And Doug's here too. We have arrived. We have landed on planet Poutine. I didn't say landed. 
poutine in my stomach, I spaceship it. What? <laughs> I didn't know you had both poutine. Here, just yeah. recently. This is a General Tao poutine. It has poutine and General Tao. What a mix. Here we have onion rings. Here and we have money. And here we have many. <laughs> What's this? Uh, the vegetarian one. It's, it's a really vegetarian healthy. poutine. It looks extremely <laughs> healthy, actually. I doubt it is. And Doug is also having the General Tao poutine. And these bowls look like chairs. Chairs? Chairs. Like the senior? It's rubbing off on you, the pumpkin. We are done eating. We're going to be leaving Planet Poutine. Oh no. We are going to be, we're taking off. Don't forget your helmet. Mission Control, we have a problem. <laughs> And you're looking at it. All right, we're heading back to play board games. I don't know, because you're here. I'm really into it. We're going to cross the road soon. Stop filming me. You're coming into the frame. Can I be in it? Can I be in it? Yes, you can be in it. Yay, we're two. The both of us, in, uh, the, the, the three of us are in it. Um, Doug, you have to be in it. Picture this. Somehow I'll make a gif it's not a GIF, it's out a GIF. of you. You don't say GIF, you say GIF. It'd be That's as like, swift as three frames per second. Any faster, it will take too much space. We're at Doug's place, and um, this, this this girl. No, that you you can't do that. You can't just assault the internet like that. You can't lick the internet, okay? Despite you trying, you can't lick the internet. Doug is playing piano right now. Now he's doing a tutorial. Keep playing. <laughs> Sorry. I'm being annoying. They are best friends. Absolutely best friends. <laughs> best friends. <laughs> Kayla's here. Kayla's here. Kayla's here. We are playing Clue. We played before. Doug won because he's a lucky person. <laughs> We're now playing a game where we guess the things on the phone on our forehead. And I thought that there was such a thing as the Georgian calendar. Yes. <laughs> nope, it's the Gregorian calendar. There's no such thing as the Georgia doesn't have a calendar. Uh, animals, animals. animals. Um, there's a game that people play on Facebook. Yeah. I wasn't uncle. It was old McDonald. It's it's frozen and it's it's um it's frozen and it's um square. It's square. Yes, it's square. Playing the violin. Well, no, cello. Cello. Yeah, yeah, it's square. Yes. Uh, stretching. Yes. Yeah. Right or easy. Uh, baseball? No. Tennis? Yeah. Yes. Can you make sounds? Yeah. Praying. Reading the Bible. Reading. Yes. Yeah. Why the Bible? I don't know. You seem to read story from religious. Uh, jump scare. Scaring someone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hula hoop. Yes. Building a snowman. Yeah. yeah. Sleeping. <laughs> Waking up. Nightmare. Yeah. We're back. Here we are. And super sleepy. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna hurry up and comment on the comments and do that jazz. That what? Jazz. Oh. Boop 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 boop. Jazz. Comment on comments. Yeah. Ronan says, I hope you had fun at the meetup. I'm sad I couldn't make it. Ronan, you need to make it to things. Your attendance has not been, has been spotty lately. <laughs> We're going to have to send a note to your parents soon. <laughs> Don't make us send a note to your parents. <laughs> anyway, so Bert says, you are both so awesome. I had two Korean friends visiting this week, so I was busy showing them around. Cool. How did Thank they, you for saying we're awesome. How did they like the Netherlands? Um, well, he, you're from the Netherlands? Yeah, Bert's from the Netherlands. Oh, that's far away. It is far away. That's cool. 
It's across the really big pond known as the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hopefully we'll visit someday. People from other places in the world. Yay. Wow. You're international. I know. Wow. Brianna says, ugh. Those Why? are, it's a kind of shoe. Uggs. Really? Yeah. Ugh. Uggs. They're shoes. Oh. That girls buy. Uh, is that supposed to be a pun? Yeah. Because I don't get it. No, because they're called Uggs, not Uggs. I didn't know. But why? Yeah. I don't know. Brianna, please explain. Because we're cute? <laughs> yeah, maybe. That would make sense. Yeah, it, okay. Or But, maybe be, maybe because there's a YouTube meetup and there was cool people. Yeah, I, maybe, didn't, maybe, I didn't watch maybe, the video. Yeah, I say, did we say something offensive? I don't know. Joy says, I know Jeffrey. I saw him at Buffer. I know that you know Jeffrey. Ed, that's so cool that you guys are getting on TV and stuff. It's just, well, it's it's Bell Local. Um, it's not the same as if it was like, you're on Fox News or... No, that'd be bad. I don't want. You're still on TV. Be optimistic. Oh yeah, no, it's it's good, but it's it's not the same kind of TV. Like it's not one of those channels that everybody gets on antenna. It's one of those channels that not everybody has and doesn't have the highest ratings. But it's still TV, mm -hmm. and producers and people are going to see it invariably. So, it's good. It is good publicity. We are now ending the vlog. The vlog is ending. The vlog is. Coming to an end. Is vlog ending the... What? I said the vlog is ending, but in another... Or, or the... Oh, okay. Language is disintegrating. This is a sign that we should go. Um, I hope you have a great day. We were supposed to play Haru Warriors, but we're too tired. We're gonna play tomorrow. Is that, like... You can guess how tired we are if I don't play Haru Warriors because I'm too tired. That's really tired. Like, that's really tired. Anyway, um, let us know in the comments below what your favorite part of today's vlog was. Is this a thing that we're going to do all the time? I don't know. Um, no, just, just today. Or you can keep on saying we're cute. We like that. Guess what? Tomorrow's a big day for us. Oh, it is. It actually is. So, we'll let you know what's happening to tomorrow but yeah we're doing lots of stuff tomorrow and i'm excited and i have some surprises for this guy and apparently he has some surprises for me i don't know but anyway um yeah i'll be wearing a dress no i won't yes anyway see you tomorrow bye oh and we forgot uh so you know how he's named prince of the interwebs and i was saying i'd be named king out of a joke He doesn't like that because he doesn't like being reminded that I'm older than he is. You know, you can be king. That's fine. No, I don't want you, to be king. Yeah. The, the official title he, he is now Duke oh of God, the Interwebs. I don't like that. He doesn't like that because he says it, sound like, it, it sounds like duck. But ducks are cute, so I don't mind it sounds like You duck. know, I'll, I can call you duck of the internet. You could. I don't mind. I'll call you duck of the internet. I, I'm Duke. He didn't want to be called king because he found that pretentious. Yes. But I told him that he could be king of, like, a, a smaller, shittier kingdom. But I don't and... want that. Like, there is a prince, and then there's a duke. That's, like, not as important as a prince, but still is a figure of I mean, authority. technically, a king is more important than a prince, but it depends on where you're prince of. Well, but I don't want to be a king, either. You have resp responsibilities when you're a king. When you're a duke, you're just like, meh, I'm a duke. <laughs> yeah, that's something to write in your All right. biography. So you can call me now Duke Gape of No Call Duke. Me Duck of the Internet. Anyway, we're gonna Gabe end this. Duke of the Interwebs. Duck of the Internet. Anyway. Or interwebs. Duck. duck Duke. Wait. We're gonna leave here. Bye. Duke Duck. Do 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 do.